When we deal with other people, when we deal with our friends and family, or even those who are on the street who are needy, those who are within our sphere of influence who may need a bit more assistance than others, it's always important to remember exactly what price Jesus paid for them. Jesus completely laid down his life for them, and God poured out all of heaven within the gift of Jesus just for the uplifting and salvation of these people that we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. The work of the sons and daughters of God must be of a different character than has yet been manifested by a large number. If they love Jesus, they will have enlarged ideas of the love that has been expressed for fallen man, which required the salvation of so expensive an offering to save the human race. Our Savior asks the cooperation of every son and daughter of Adam, who has become a son or daughter of God. Our Savior declares that he brought from heaven as a donation eternal life. He was to be lifted up upon the cross of Calvary to draw all men unto him. How then shall we treat the purchased inheritance of Christ? Tenderness, appreciation, kindness, sympathy, and love should be shown to them. Then we may work to help and bless one another. Next time we're dealing with people, maybe sometimes they might be a little bit tough to deal with, or maybe sometimes we might just want to pass them by without giving them much thought. But if we think about how precious these people are for Christ and what price he paid for them, we should be treating them with such love, kindness, sympathy, and tender care, just as Jesus would treat them. So next time we're around our friends or family or those in our church, maybe especially those who don't really have many friends or much of a community, we should try to share that heavenly love with them so that they could feel the love that Christ wants them to feel and that through our influence, we can bring them to the uplifted and risen Savior. I hope this was a blessing and I hope you have a great rest of your day.